Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PT and for today what I have in here it is, uh, oh boy, an awesome game. This is the Wreckfest. Wreckfest is developed by the Big Beer and they are using their internal engine that, I, that they created specifically for this game. So in case you don't know Wreckfest, I don't judge you by that because this game was not always called Wreckfest, you know, first and initially it was called Next Car Game and then they decided to change the name to Wreckfest. Wreckfest is developed by the Bugbeer, I'm pretty sure you know a lot of Bugbeer games but probably don't remember who the hell is Bugbeer. Bugbeer are the developers behind great games like Flat Out 1, Flat Out 2, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. It was always great games, I loved so much these type of games and I'm not even American, which is cutest, but I love so much these type of games. It's, it's amazing, it's like Destruction Derby and you can eat all the cards and throw it and smash them to pieces. It's absolutely insane, I love this shit, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it was a very complicated early access, it took like uh, 5 years, there were rumors that they gone bankrupt, there were times where they just updated the game like 2 updates per year and it was a very very small updates. but recently in the last year THQ um, kind of helped the bug beer and in the last year they made a lot of evolutions, okay? So for the settings that you are about to see on this video, I will be, I will be using the median presets on this video and 1080p, but like always, I always test the games with multiple settings and in case of these benchmarks, I decided to test two different tracks. One of them, it's pretty much the same performance as the others, and uh, the second track it is much more demanding than the others okay so let's come to the first track which is this uh, boulder thing track okay so i decided to use median low minimum settings minimum settings it's the potato uh, setting okay you lose shadows grass dust so it completely eradicates the feeling of the game but the low settings looks pretty good and median settings also looks pretty good uh, for the eye settings, I had to reduce the textures to the median and I decided to stick up with FXAA and the ultra settings, I decided to keep up the textures on median and I decided to keep up with FXAA, okay? So this is why it is custom. And as you can see on the results, all of these uh, ultra and eye delivers frame rates above 30 frames per second. The median delivers a good balance between 50 to 70 frames per second on this track and the minimum, which is very potato style, delivers above 60 frames per second. But everything changes when you go to this race, which is this motor race track, where there is so much detail into the track that the CPU simply can't handle it. So even with the minimum settings with that potato style, we get an average of 78, but a 1% low of 48. The low and median settings delivers uh, good frame rates, okay, and the 1% low calls to the 30 frames per second. The high settings, it is a good average too, beating the median settings, because, you know, the races are very unbalanced and the game changed performance a lot uh, if you are behind of the, of the cars or if you are in front. So, if you are behind of the cars, the performance is much worse than when you are in front. And with the ultra settings, well, the performance is not really great. But one of the things that I want to tell you about the game is that this game is very CPU driven, which means that in this case my Phantom 2 can't feed the graphic card. So what happens is if you have a much better CPU than me, okay, and you have the same graphic cards listed on the title, I'm pretty sure you are going to get a much better frame rate than I have in here, especially on this race, the motor race track that I, I did show you on the graphics, okay. And if you go with that track and you have a better CPU, you will see much, much, much better results than I have. So yeah, the game is very CPU demanding, but for the GPU I think it's okay. Remember, low settings, medium settings, high settings, ultra settings, all of them look fine. And that was really surprising for me. So it was supposed for me to start with the motor race track, but I decided to start with this one because I think it's more interesting, okay? So I will show you two tracks of this track over here and I will show you a little bit of the motor racer track okay which is the second track which is the more demanding than the rest of the tracks of the game and you will see how it looks and how it plays okay 
So I guess that's it that I have to, to talk about the Wreckfest. I absolutely love these type of games, to be honest. And above all, if you want to get this game, you can get it from Steam right now. It costs 45 euros, but if you want to get it through Kingwin, by the time of this video, the game was being sold or selling at 35 euros. So it's a, it's a nice discount in case you want to buy through there. I have the links on the description, so it should grant you better access to those discounts. Okay, so I guess that's all. So bottom of the line, this game, it is very, very CPU driven. Most of all, it is very easy to achieve frame rates above 30 frames per second, but hard to achieve above 60 with this system without going into the beta mode. And uh, if you have a better CPU, it will make a great, great difference in the performance. And if you have a 4 gigabyte graphic card, uh, you can jump up the textures to the i settings. Okay, so that's really all for the Wreckfest. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.